so let us have a discussion on one more theorem if s equals to a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c is equal to 0 represents a pair of parallel lines then h square is equal to a b and b g square is equal to a f square and also find the distance between the parallel lines is 2 root of g square minus a c by a times a plus b and or 2 square root of root over f square minus b f square minus b c by b times a plus b. So, that means we need to prove that h square is equal to a b and b g square is equal to a f square if the pair of lines represents two parallel lines. So, that means first of all let us assume the two parallel lines are just differ by the constant itself only already we have studied in straight lines. See the one uh, two pa parallel lines be let us say L x plus m y plus n 1 is equal to 0. The second uh, uh, the line which is parallel to geometrically parallel to L x plus m y plus n 1 is equal to 0 can be taken as L x plus m y plus n 2 is equal to 0. So, now the a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c must be equal to the combined equation of the two lines l x plus m y plus n 1 times l x plus m y plus n 2 is equal to 0. By comparing the coefficients x square and y square x y and x coefficient and y coefficient and constant terms respectively. So, we get the values after that we need to prove that h square is equal to a b as well as a f square is equal to b g square sorry b g square is equal to a f square or a f square is equal to b g square and the distance between the parallel lines. So, distance between the parallel lines means the distance between the two parallel lines a x plus b y plus c 1 is equal to 0 a x plus b y plus c 2 is equal to 0 is given by c 2 minus c 1 mod of root of a square plus b square already we have studied in straight lines you might have actually studied the uh, watched the my video on straight lines in the straight lines are already discussed how to find out the distance between the parallel lines. So, now let us proceed to solve this theorem now let us so proceed for the proof of this theorem. So, now the solution let L x plus m y plus n 1 is equal to 0 say equation 1 L x plus m y plus n 2 is equal to 0 this is 2 represent represent s is equal to 0. Now, we can have this a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square plus 2 g x plus 2 f y plus c must be equal to combined equation of these two. So, we can write l x plus m y plus n 1 multiplied by l x plus m y plus n 2. Okay. Comparing coefficients on both sides. So, let us compare the coefficients on both sides. See it is very clear l x into l x l square x here x square coefficient is a. So, we get very interesting we get s l square is equal to a and m square is equal to b and n 1 into is c only constant terms. So, let us find out x y coefficient l m l m 2 l m. So, 2 l m is equal to x y coefficient is 2 h. So, this we can write h is equal to l m and next here x coefficient l n 2 
L n 1. So, L common n 1 plus n 2 is equal to 2 g. So, next similarly now m times n 1 plus n 2 equal to 2 f. See m y into n 2 m n 2 n 1 into m m n 1 m common n 1 plus n 2 is equal to f. So, better you say this one as third equation, this will be fourth equation, let us say fifth equation for our convenience. So, now here consider equation 3 or from equation 3, you can write like this also. So, we have h is equal to L m. Now, we need to establish relation among h a b. Now, squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides. So, on squaring on both sides, what do you get? It is very clear h whole square is equal to l m whole square. So, we get h square is equal to l square m square. Now, just you can imagine, what do we replace l square? Yes, a. What do you replace m square? b. So, now here since l square is equal to a, since m square is equal to b, so that we can establish relation between h a b. So, that means we get now therefore, h square equal to a b. So, that means one of the result have been proved. So, next we need to prove a f square is equal to b g square that can be done with the help of 4 and 5. So, now just you do like this apply equation 3 divided by equation 4 let us see what do we get now. So, now here we get equation 4 that is L of n 1 plus n 2 having been divided by m times n 1 plus n 2 and equals to what do we have 2 g by 2 f. So, now this n 1 plus n 2, n 1 plus n 2 cancel, 2 2 gets cancelled. So, from this we have L by m equals to g by f. Again squaring on both sides, squaring on both sides. So, now what do you get? on squaring on both sides we get like this now. See L square by M square equal to G square by F square. So, now just look for the value of L square and M square here. The L square stands for A, M square stands for B. So, that we can write this is A by B equals to G square by F square. Cross multiply it. So, by cross multiplying what do you get? B g square is equal to A f square. So, it has been proved. So, this is other relation has been obtained. So, now let us find out the distance between the parallel lines. Distance between the parallel lines here. Okay. So, that is L x plus m y plus n 1 is equal to 0 say equation 1 L x plus m y plus n 2 is equal to 0. So, distance between parallel lines distance between parallel lines, parallel lines equal to formula we have 
c1 minus c2 by root of a square plus b square. Here a means x coefficient, b means y coefficient and c1 is the constant from the first equation whereas c2 is the constant from the second equation. So, we get now here n1 minus n2 mod root of this can be written l square plus m square. Again we need to recall the one of the algebraic identities very very important identity that is we have a minus b is equal to a plus b whole square minus 4 a b root over. So, with the help of this what can you write now here instead of mod of n 1 minus n 2. So, that can be replaced by n 1 plus n 2 whole square minus 4 n 1 n 2 root by root of l square plus m square. Now, with the help of this relation, so we need to change. From this fourth equation, see we have n 1 plus n 2 is equal to 2 g by l and n 1 n 2 is equal to c. So, let us replace there. So, we get 2 g by l whole square minus 4 c by this will be root root of l square plus m square. So, now let it be simplified now. this will be root of 4 g square by l square minus 4 c by root of l square plus m square. So, where l square is a m square is b let us substitute now. So, now substituting this can be written as whole root of 4 g square by a minus 4 c divided by l square is a m square is b. 4 common that becomes 2 root of here a is the LCM we can write g square minus a c upon we can write a plus b. So, now we need to simplify this we can write 2 root of g square minus a c by a into this will be 1 by a plus b. So, this equals to 2 root of g square minus a c by a times a plus b. Similarly, we can prove this one also we can prove the distance between the parallel lines is equal to 2 root of f square minus b c by p into a plus b. That means, if instead of n 1 plus n 2 is equal to if you consider 2 f by l you get this relation. So, by that actually the distance between the parallel lines we can prove the both ways either 2 root of g square minus a c by a into a plus b or else 2 root of f square minus b c by b into a plus b.